Okay, so we had NBA 2K21 predict the three-point contest, and now we're going to have it predict the actual All-Star game. And surprisingly, 2K added these two teams into the game already. They did it super quick. They got the jerseys and everything. Usually, 2K does not do this, so pretty surprising. But on the right-hand side here, we got Team LeBron. And on the left, we got Team Kyrie, even though it's supposed to be Team Durant. Durant's the captain. He drafted the team. But for some reason in the game, it's Team Kyrie. Um, I guess he would be the next voted for player on this team. And the reason, I guess, why 2K has him as the captain in the game. But leave your predictions down below on which team you think is going to win this thing. We're going to be running a full 12 minute simulation here on Hall of Fame difficulty to see which team is going to win. Let's hop right into it. We're also going to be using the same format as real life. So in real life, the first three quarters are actually their own separate games. Whichever team scores the most during each quarter, they win that quarter and then they actually donate money to charity. We don't have that though for this game. And then the final quarter, they add whatever team is in front. They add 24 points to their score and whichever team to hit that score first is going to win the game so we're going to be doing the same thing here first three quarters we're going to have completely normal then we're going to add the 24 points for kobe and whoever hits that first is going to win the game let's hop right into this though we got the tip off Embiid versus Jokic, and Jokic is going to win this one so team lebron with the chance to score first here luca in the side and that's an easy bucket already these guys are playing defense just like they would in the actual all-star game Kyrie inside and one curry the Jokic with the big slam curry wide open from three you cannot do that Kyrie, nice green release curry with a green right back at him Kawhi from three, <laughs> and he air balls it. Oh no, Kawhi. Jokic inside. And Team LeBron already over 10 points, off 11-4. Nice screen by Embiid, and Kawhi gets a floater. Luka wide open from mid-range. He's going to drain that. Kyrie with the green release, and now it's a two-point game. Here's Curry with the three now, and he hits that. Zion in the post. Can he get his first bucket? No, yes, he gets his own board, and then he misses. Got to see something from Harden here. It's crazy that Harden is actually a reserve in the All-Star game. With how good of a player he is, he should not be a reserve, and he gets his first bucket of the game. At least they made it to where the actual starters are the actual starters for these rosters. Because knowing 2K, they, you would assume they would screw up and have different players as the starters. We got Donovan Mitchell in the game now. So I believe all three Jazz players are in the game at the same time. Donovan Mitchell and one. Donovan Mitchell from three. No good. And at the end of one, it's 29-25 Team LeBron. So actually during this game, it was just announced that Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons Barber had the 19. So they actually might not play in this game. It's not looking good for them playing. Paul George inside and one. PG gets the free throw to go as well. Team Kyrie keeps coming back within like five points, like three to five points, but they can never take the lead. And then Team LeBron can never take a bigger lead. Then like eight points. Ben Simmons wide open on the three-point line. I don't know why they would run that play for him. Ben Simmons in the post. A little bit of a mismatch here. And he gets the bucket to go. We're at a seven-point lead right now. Let's see if uh, Team LeBron can maybe increase that lead a little more. It's going to be a lot harder for, for KD's team to win in real life now if Joel Embiid isn't playing. He misses that shot, though. Kyrie with the nasty crossover gets a layup as well. Lead not really increasing, lead not really decreasing. Kind of staying as it is. Bradley Beal wide open this time, and he drains the three. Try to cut down that lead a little bit. Team LeBron can take a 10-point lead here. Curry in the corner for three, and that's money. Team LeBron finally with the double-digit lead, the 11-point lead right now. They're on the verge of doing it all game, and they finally get it done. LeBron with a tough shot there, 
And Jokic gets the board, though, gets a second chance points. We're up to a 13-point lead now. Oh, Lillard, wide open. He fades, though, and misses. And he draws a foul. All right, he can get this lead within 10. Misses the first free throw. Okay, so he hits the second one at least. So it's a 10-point game now. Could have got it down to single digits, but... Lillard from three. He gets the perfect release, and finally we get a made shot after like 20 bricks in a row. And then the lead's the exact same as it was before it anyways. So Team KD going to get the last shot of the first half right here. They're down by 13. Can cut the lead a little bit, especially if they hit a three. But Tatum's going to drive, and he's blocked by Giannis. So at the end of the first half, LeBron up 60 to 47. Hopping into the third quarter, this is a huge quarter for Team KD because they got to get this close because the fourth quarter, you got to hit a certain number. It's 24 points, so if they're already down by like 11, 12, it's going to be next to impossible. Kyrie inside. He gets a layup, so there we go. It's a good start. Kyrie with another layup. And Team KD, or Kyrie, is within nine points right now. And Bede, open from three. That's a green Team KD coming back here. Gets the game to six points now. And there's their first one. No, LeBron with the board. There we go. They get the board. They get their first stop. Bradley Beal not going to pop the three. Bradley Beal inside the perfect release. And the game's down to a four-point lead. Curry, a green release from three. That was a crazy shot. Start to swing the momentum back in LeBron's side. And Bradley Beal just left wide open, but he bricks the shot. We got Zion. I honestly don't think Zion has scored yet this game. Kyrie, tough layup, and he gets it to fall. Ooh, good D by Paul George. I don't know how Kyrie got that board, but Bradley Beal drains the three. And we got a two-point game now. All right, so Team LeBron probably going to get one more shot here at scoring. And they're looking like they are going to go into the, the final quarter with the lead. Team Durant, one more chance to score here. Julius Randle from three. It's no good. That would have been crazy if they tied that up going into the fourth. Lillard, half-court shot is good to go. So at the end of the third, it's 82-76. And just like the actual All-Star game, we're doing what they're doing. We're adding 24 points to the top score. And whoever hits that final score first is going to win. So 82, adding 24 to that, we got a score of 106. So whichever team hits 106 first is going to win this All-Star contest. Most of the score, or most of the quarter to get there. Luca with a big slam to start off the quarter. And now only 22 points needed. All right, nice screening here. Kyrie from three this time. He hits the three. Zach Levine with a big dunk, though. Is this still any team's game? Team Kyrie needs 20 points. Team LeBron needs 16 to win this. Luka wide open from three. He bricks it, though. Kyrie blocked by LeBron. Kawhi, nice shot. Curry got to put up a tough shot. No good. But Giannis with a board, and then he's blocked. Then Jokic gets it, and then he misses. And the lob to Giannis. Kawhi somehow greens that. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Team Durant can tie up the game here. I mean, every time they've had a chance, they've choked it, though. But this time, Kyrie with the wide-open layup because they are not scoring that much. Luka with the floater. There we go. I think MVP of this game is going to be whichever teams win. Whatever team wins, it's going to be Curry or Kyrie, I think. I mean, they, they've been, both been playing amazing. Kyrie with the perfect release. Luka with a tough shot, but it, it falls. Kyrie, ooh, I, th I thought he might have popped that, but he's going to drive, and he makes the layup. What are they doing? Beal, okay, Beal with a big... Dunk, they're up to 103 points. A three-pointer will win it for Team Durant. That would be crazy if they win. A huge comeback if so. Jokic blocked by Embiid. And now Kyrie with the ball. 
Let's see what he does here. Does he go for the three? He has no idea. He only needs three to win it. What is Embiid doing? Get out of the paint. He's got to put it up. He gets his own board. Out to Beal for the win. And it's no good. It is no good. But Kyrie gets the ball. Or Team Durant gets the ball back. Three minutes left. All they need is a three here. Jason Tatum. Wide open. And he bricks it. He bricks it. I mean, that was a good close out there. I think that was Giannis who closed out. And one for Luka Doncic. He can tie this game up here. And he does the perfect release. 103-103. The first team to hit a three is going to win. Unless they go for some twos. But, I mean, the three's got to be the way to end it. They don't know. They only need three. So Kyrie gets a layup. They're on game point here. One more score for them. Unless Team LeBron hits a three here. If Team LeBron hits a three here, they win this thing. Steph Curry with the ball. But no, he gets the layup. We are all tied up again. The next team to score wins. The next team to score wins. Beal. A tough shot. That's no good. Why would he put that up? And now LeBron. And he draws the foul. Are you kidding me? Fouls might get the win here. Foul shots. First shot for LeBron's no good though. And he needs only one point. And it is money, and that is game right there. Team LeBron winning this thing 106 to 105. So a pretty low-scoring game. Last year in the All-Star game, it was 157 to 155. A uh, lot more low-scoring here, uh, 105, 106 to 105. And Team LeBron just barely winning it here by one point, coming down to the final minutes. Uh, there's the team comparison. Let's check out this box score. Uh, so for Team LeBron, Steph Curry did the best in terms of scoring, 27 points. I think he deserves the MVP right here. I mean, he put on a show, him and Kyrie. 27 for him, 16 for Paul George. Luka was with 15. Jokic had a double-double. Uh, did everybody end up playing? Yeah, everybody ended up playing. Jalen Brown was the only player to not score on Team LeBron. And moving over to Team Kyrie, Kyrie had a crazy game. He went off at the end. I think if they gave him the ball more at the end, which they weren't for some reason, then they would have won. 38 points for him, three rebounds, four assists. He shot four for seven from three. Just a great game for him. Harden with 19. Um, and who did the worst on this team? So a few players that didn't score. Vucevic, Randall, Zion. Zion uh, kind of sucks he didn't score. Vucevic didn't take a single shot, though. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. According to 2K, they predict team lebron's gonna win this thing obviously it's gonna look a lot different in real life team durant also with no joel and bead now so that's gonna be a huge hit for them this has been this has been your boy smeekle though and i'll see you next time peace never at ease i don't know a limit chasing the dream i don't know what sleepers i got a queen she lit me to eat it she ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it do whatever do for that link up in person text me to fall through a murder she wrote it still up with courage to doing the service pull up to the crib i'm equipped with the breast strokes cut throat from the low low window